Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Sipesile and today's video I'm going to be bringing you guys into one of my classes. Um, it is going to be a live trial lesson and um, I hope it helps prospective teachers, people who want to teach. And also if you are looking to learn English, I hope this helps you as well. And if you want to learn um, just like the students and have a lesson or if you want to book a meeting with me, um, you can go ahead and look in the description. There is going to be a link. Um, for a website where you can book classes or you can book meetings all right um, and then also um, if you're looking for teaching material that i use in this class um, you can also check the description everything will be provided um, if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much and um, appreciate the support if you're new visitor to the channel please do subscribe and make content for online teachers and making money online and i'm sure that the channel will definitely help you guys um, by the way guys i'm at school i have to get back to some work but um yeah check out the video i don't remember much because i watched it a long time ago yeah but it it was it was a great series um have you watched money heist um, yeah, yeah, part of. Part of. I think it's the first. I think the first uh, season. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I I watched all of it. Um, it's it's very intense. It is it is actually very interesting that series. Um. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I like it. For me, it's one of the best series. You know. Among with Peaky Blinders and Breaking Bad, I think those three are one of the best series ever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For the fact that in any case, in all English, uh, the title was um, The House of a Paper. Really? So it is not similar. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you watched it, when you're watching it, you watched it in Polish or in English? This exact uh, series I watched in Polish, but uh, part of, of course, okay. I watched uh, fully in English. Okay, all right. Sometimes uh, it's fine. It's uh, fun. Yeah, I, I, I would highly recommend that you watch a lot of your series and movies in English because that's gonna expose you to a lot of new words and that could also help you in your vocabulary um, you know so mm -hmm. yeah so if maybe you do watch a movie um, you could grab a book or and a pen and then if there's a new word that you don't understand just write it down and then in the next class we will we'll go ahead and we we work through that all right so I'll, I'll help you Write down the meanings and okay. I'll help you work them in sentences. Right? So yeah, I recommend that you and do so what do you think? Okay. And what do you think? Uh, better is to watching movies with uh, with subtitles or without them? Um, I think as long as you're comfortable because sometimes subtitles can help you understand the pronunciation of some words, right? So um, but if maybe you prefer to not use subtitles, um, then you know, then you would be comfortable with understanding everything as they're pronouncing it themselves. But it depends on you. All right, I'll always help you. Um, if you watch without subtitles, then that's perfect because it means your understanding is good and your listening is good. But if you prefer to use subtitles, then that means that's also going to help you understand the pronunciation of the different words. Mm -hmm. Okay, I had an opinion that uh, when you watching when you watch movies with uh, subtitles, you are learning reading, not hearing the language. So the better solution is to watch without subtitles. Okay. All right, um, I'm not really sure about that, but um, maybe. But it, it honestly depends on the students. You know why? Because some students, they are good at listening. And, you know, so 
they are good at listening, so they prefer to hear the words themselves and then write them down. But for some maybe okay. little bit beginner students, the subtitles really do help them understand um, what the what the people are pronouncing in the movie. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it could be. Yeah, I, I think it's different, but definitely it is right. Because once you are a little bit um, advanced or intermediate level, without the subtitles, that's much better for you. But if you're still, you know, beginner level, the subtitles really do help you out a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, all right, we're done with this section. Um, we are running low on time. So mm -hmm. we're going to move on to the next page. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is my discussion feedback. Um, I think that your speaking is good. Um, of course, like you mentioned, we need to work on your vocabulary because there were some pauses, especially at mm -hmm. the beginning. Um, there were some pauses that we had mm -hmm. during the class um, when you were trying to remember some words. Mm -hmm. um, I think also especially when I asked you to describe. Mm -hmm. Yes, I agree. Um, when I asked you to, to describe um, how is it like working in real estate? I don't know if you remember that. You, mm -hmm. you had a little bit difficulty there. Yeah. But, um, you know, we, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little bit difficult today, but we, we can work on your vocabulary. And of course, as you practice more and more, you, you will gain that confidence that you're looking for. Um, and then hopefully it should be able to help you also with your work. Um, so yeah, that's my feedback so far. We need to work on your vocabulary grammar also, because there are some just minor grammatical mistakes. But I didn't want to correct too okay. much today because it's still the trial class and the purpose was to kind of get to know you a bit more and um, so that you can get to know me. So yeah, that's the feedback. Okay. Um, yeah. And then now we're going to get onto the tools. Thanks for it. All right. No problem. Um, and then now we're going to get onto the tools that I use while teaching. Um, so of course, as you know, the Preply tool, we have the whiteboard. We have the library of resources, we have flashcards, and then we have screen sharing, which is what I'm using right now. So um, yeah, there is a whiteboard. We could be writing answers. Maybe when we're doing activities, I could use the whiteboard to showcase some words and um, some meanings also. The library of resources has different teaching material, but for me, I, I like to use my own material. Um, that I showed you, I think I showed you. I prefer to use that one because I feel it's more engaging um, and more recent because I update it. Mm -hmm. um, but if you do find maybe some material on Preply and you'd like us to work on it, I don't have a problem with that, okay? So you, you can just let me know. Um, but of course, I do use my own okay. resources. And then flashcards are basically words with meanings. Um, for example, if there's a word that you don't know, um, then we could write it down and then I'd give you the meaning. Then of course, this is the screen share. So yeah, that's a um, brief summary of the Preply classroom. Okay. Um, yeah, so now we're gonna get onto the placement test and course focus. So questions about your course. What do you hope to achieve by the end of your course? Vocabulary, vocabulary is still top. Okay, all right, vocabulary. Um, okay, and then what specific area of English do you envisage your course to focus on? So maybe that could be maybe are you looking more into business English, um, conversational grammar, or for you, is it just a mixture of all topics? Mixture of all topics because sometimes I uh, want to use English in my job or, and sometimes uh, I will just communicate with, uh, yeah. with people abroad on holidays. So, yes, of all. All right, so you can understand. Okay, a mixture of both. And then how do you see me helping you towards your course? Maybe speaking slower? Um, or is my speed okay? Um, how, how do you see your teacher helping you during the course? 
I think everything was good, so I don't know what to tell you. Okay. All right, that's okay, I understand. Thanks, thanks for that. Right, and then now we're gonna discuss the course options before we end the class. Um, so this would be the last part of our trial. So how often do you hope to have classes each week? Uh, once or twice a week. Okay, once or twice a week. Let me write this down. Okay. Once or twice a week. Alright. Okay. Um, okay, we already spoke about this. And then how much homework do you plan to continue to complete outside of our online classes? How much homework? Mm -hmm. And uh, what is it small of homework and what is it of okay. a lot of homework? <laughs> it would actually depend on maybe the classes. It would depend on the classes because maybe we would be doing some an activity. Um, for example, there are some projects in my in my um, lesson material. So maybe if there's a class project but we don't finish it, um, I could give it to you and then you could complete it at home when you have time. Um, if you do have time, mm -hmm. But we could always try to complete everything in the class and if there's anything left over, we continue it within the class as well because I understand some students, you know, they have work, they have, you know, different things happening and sometimes it's not ideal to expect homework every time. Okay, I think we will see uh, because uh, if I would uh, like to have twice two lessons a week yeah uh, it will be good to uh, have a little bit um, less homework okay so i think we will see if it will be too much of course i will uh, tell you okay all right that's good i understand all right, and then the last question, what are your strengths and what do you think your weaknesses are when it comes to English? Uh, and it is still vocabulary as my weakness. Okay. All right. We so can. nothing's changed. Okay. Okay, so it's still just vocabulary. And then what do you think your strengths are? I don't know, maybe pronunciation isn't that bad? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it really isn't that bad. You are able to speak. Um, yeah, I, I can see mm -hmm. that you, you have done a little bit of work with that, and I'm, I'm actually quite impressed. Um, so, yeah, pretty much that's it, Beric, um, with today's class. Of course, we were going to do the demo lesson, but it seems our time has passed. Um, hopefully in the next class we could do this um, or you could choose from the list of topics so we were gonna do the demo lesson um, and then we do the questions and the answers and then also vocabulary exercise just to kind of test your vocabulary um, and then also the feedback okay. um, but yeah we can still continue in our next class if you still choose to continue of course um, but so far, um, I'd like to know your feedback of the class. Um, what did you think? Um, and what would you like to focus on in your next class? It is my first uh, lesson on Preply and it is my first, year, the first uh, lesson uh, on internet. Yeah. So, I have not um what a second please. Okay, you have not comparison comparison. Okay. Comparison. Okay. And could you could you show me the slide? Okay. 
All right, yes. Okay, so and then how did you find the activities? So we, we didn't get time to do the activities, right? Um, but um, okay. yeah, you can just say, um, so we can move on to the next question. What did you learn today? Question number three. I learned today, I learned today about my weakness, which is vocabulary. Okay. And uh, I think it is important to know uh, about uh, spaces okay. uh, in my English. Okay. So I think it is, it is good to yeah. know. All right, I understand. Okay, so yeah. And then what would you like to focus on in our next class? I think speaking, because I learn when I speak, not really in, in when I uh, when I doing some exercises. Okay. All right. Yeah, understood. All right, I understand, Patrick. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's it. <laughs> For today, do you have any questions? Um, do you have any questions at all? Is there maybe some day when uh, we would like to meet? Um, it it uh, in the week. This week. Um, this um, maybe not this week, but uh, in the week. Okay. Is there any day that uh, you have uh, maybe a little bit? Um, free time not so busy yeah so, yes um okay usually weekends so the best okay yeah usually weekends i'm i'm free for you know the weekends saturdays and sundays um you can check on my okay. schedule my schedule is updated and also during the week mm -hmm. um of course our time zone is the same because we we're in the same we, we are in the same time zone, so our time is the same. So usually probably between um, 7 to 9 p.m. But you can check on my schedule because it is updated. Okay. If you see a time that works for you, you can just go ahead and book the slot. Yeah, it's, it's definitely uh, no okay. 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 Nice. All right. Okay. Um, thank you so much, Patrick. Um, it, was, it was nice to meet you. Um, Hope to see you again soon, okay? Okay, nice to meet you too, uh, and see you. All right, thanks. Bye. Thank you. Bye.